Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reed Z. Today let's talk about five stereotypes about writers that are actually true, whether we want to admit them or not. So in our last video, I talked about five stereotypes about writers that aren't true at all, but today let's talk about the stereotypes about writers that are actually true. Again, none of this is universal. These things don't apply to every writer, but these are some things that I have noticed to be actually true. The first one is that they daydream a lot. There's this idea that writers are always in their heads, kind of just like in another world daydreaming. And speaking from personal experience, this is completely true. Writers have a lot going on up here. Many stories that are percolating, developing, and this is happening all the time. If you're having a conversation with a writer and you feel like they're kind of zoned out or not paying attention, there is a probably 95% chance that they are thinking about their book. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're a writer, it's something that you kind of are doing constantly all the time, even if you're not physically writing. You can't really turn off that brainstorming instinct. That's just something that's kind of always going. This idea that writers are always daydreaming with their heads in the clouds, kind of in another world, is, from my experience, pretty accurate. Number two, they steal material from real life. I used to think that this was false, and um, I did talk about in the last video this kind of false idea that everything that writers write is like a direct reflection of their lives, but more and more I have noticed myself stealing little, little bits of material from day-to-day -day life. And I think that rather than just taking real situations and writing about them, what writers tend to do is just steal little details. You know, if you meet someone and there's something interesting about them, steal it. If you're talking to someone and someone says something funny, you write down that line of dialogue. I've stolen many lines of dialogue from real people. I've stolen many character details from real people. Um, and I think it's because writers are very hyper observant um, and always on the lookout for any interesting detail. You know, when writers come across an interesting detail, they want to just pluck that up and put it in a story because it's interesting. I keep a whole list of interesting details, most of which I've stolen from real people that I've met. Number three is that writers are night owls. Now, of course, not all are. I do know some early bird writers, but this stereotype is, in my experience, fairly true for a pretty good number of writers. I do know a lot of writers who are night owls. I will admit to being a night owl myself. When I was a teenager, I would start writing at one in the morning and I would write until four. I don't know how I did it. Now, I can't do that. I think it's a combination of a few things. For one, if you start writing in the evening, sometimes you end up just continuing to write until maybe a little too late. Um, but I also think that a lot of writers just have very hyperactive imaginations and for a lot of people, their imaginations are the most active at night and so they want to make the most of that. Number four is that writers sometimes don't know how to take care of themselves. This is a little true. I think a lot of writers can be a little spacey and can kind of forget basic self-care. Like there have been a lot of times where I've been writing and the scene is going really well and I'm really into it and then eventually it hits me that I feel like terrible and I feel like I'm about to pass out and then I realize it's because I got really into the writing and I didn't want to break this flow and so then I never ate dinner and suddenly it's 11 p.m. and I'm cooking up some rice. This has happened to me many times and I know a lot of writers that this has happened to. Sometimes you just get very into the writing that you kind of completely forget what's going on around you. I feel like so far all of these have just been confirmation that writers are really, really spacey. Number five, this is a little one, but it's that writers wear a lot of sweaters and they drink a lot of coffee. It's always a stereotype. You always see the stereotypical writer drinking coffee, wearing like a sweater, and it's kind of true. I think most writers that I know do drink a lot of coffee, although to be fair, most people that I know drink a lot of coffee. I don't think it's a writer thing. I think it's just a person thing. But the sweater thing is actually pretty true. Almost every writer that I know just wears a lot of sweaters all the time and more so than non-writers. That image that a lot of people have of like a stereotypical way that writers dress in my experience is actually kind of accurate. So those are five stereotypes about writers that in my experience are completely true. Which ones did I forget? What writer stereotype do you find is true to you? Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.